This masterclass is ensemble, so it's much a small orchestra, which creates a completely different atmosphere. You know, you can create first a bigger connection with musicians. Van itt három ember, aki tudja ezt a műfajtot hozzá, hogy ugyanakkor mind a három man zenekart is vezénünk. Tehát, hogy pont az a lényeg ebben, hogy hogy egyszer nézzük meg azt, hogy, hogy, hogy mik a különbségek itt, és hogy egy ilyen kamara együttesben a hangzás, meg egyetlen a kommunikáció az, az hogyan működik. With the Schoenberg is challenging as well, because they are six, they can play absolutely beautifully by themselves. Uh, so the point also is like, what can I do extra that uh, make them think, okay, we would like to have this conductor here because she indeed can be useful. We can make better music. It's a mash hozzáállás, más megközelítés, mint mondjuk a zenekarnál, ahol igazából egy karmesteri monológ zajlik állandóan, mert ugye én irányítok mindent, és akkor mindenki azt követi, tehát hogy én visszem előre az ászót. Itt meg, itt meg mondjuk mind a heten fogjuk az ászót, és egyszerre szaladunk előre. He's helped us a lot this week with rehearsing uh, technique. Um, the psychology of the orchestra also is very important for young conductors to have in mind. Gregory, he has this fantastic technique in conducting. It's before approaching the music and expressing it, you need to have your hand, the instrument, well enough so that it comes across to the musicians what you want to express. Um, here I wanted to improve my technique without the baton and he was giving me a lot of good tips about what does the hand show. So it's not so much about the uh, mechanical technique but more of the sound, you know, long sound, short sound, the deep sound, pushing forward or these kind of things um, helped me for my own experience this week to really think, okay, I'm showing good tempo, okay, I'm showing cues, but what else? What am I actually needed here for? Charlie saw that in Kuzus, that 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 he sees how how he reacts as an artist, sees how how many hours there are required, and this physically has to be achieved. That is, paper, you know, a sheet or a computer, it is just a picture. Fabian Panicellóval ezt kimondott egy, egy olyan zeneszerzőt hívtunk meg, aki egy nagyon tájékozott és kitűnő kapcsolata van a fiatal generációval, azért is, mert ő egy iskolai igazgatóként hozzá van szokva ehhez a kapcsolat teremtéshez. Peter is a great master. He uh, open the arms uh, to, to collaborate with, with different generations. He knows his impulse in something important for the future in, in, in many persons. As he did with me 20 years ago, and probably with Vaida and with many other friends I have, which consider Peter um, a very important and uh, fundamental impulse for their lives. I do believe in, in these unique projects. I do believe in exceptional things for music. I think to create the conditions to do music in the highest level, um, and highest level doesn't mean only to play perfect. High to, to consider the different aspects being involved into making um, an art activity as music um, is a, is a very, very, very important thing today. A zeneszerző, aki dirigál, az másképpen dirigál, mert másképpen gondolkozik. A zeneszerzése az pedig a dirigálásnak a, az egyik fázisa, 
Tehát ők pontosabban tudja fölépíteni a feladatokat a zenekar számára, és olyan szituációkat teremteni, amelyikben megkönnyíti a zenészek játékát vagy, vagy figyelmét. Everything about the program brings me back. Uh, Maestro Udfus and the chance to work with him as a conductor. Before I was here as a composer, writing pieces and working on them with the musicians and having him coach me in that way. But of course, uh, when I was here, I saw him working with the conductors and, and helping them so much. And I thought, well, I would, I would love to, to try that as well. Szóval ez, az ezzel való munkát tartom a legizgalmasabbnak, amikor itt van a velem körülbelül egy idős zeneszerző, és ott nemrég írta a darabot, és akkor én megvezényeljem. Teatrálni. It's uh, about as normal theater life, mostly as a conductor or coach maybe, where you just go into theater every day, rehearse something. It's sometimes a mess, sometimes we, we can hear something what is famous, but um, we also, also uh, we are on the rehearsal, so we can practice, like we can see in the music conductor and the musicians, sometimes the one musician uh, doesn't repeat in a correct way, so then the pianist is very angry. I really love the practical approach to music and how to be always in contact with both the writing and the sound result. And this is why I came here, because it's a really a good balance on the, both on, on the writing and intellectual process and on the practical side. We started to talk about it, and we are here in about 6-7 countries. We are here in about 10-11 or something like that. So we are in a lot of places, and it's true that nagyon közvetlen a viszony a zeneszerzők és karmesterek között is. Szerencsére nincs ez a globális trend, tehát mindegyik a maga kultúráját képviseli, és a jövőre nézve is ez az értéke egy komponistának, hogy mennyire tud egy nem csak a saját kultúráját, hanem saját magát is képviselni. Tehát a kultúrán belül egy egyéni hangot megütni, akkor lesz, akkor lesz közismert. Tehát akkor jut el az egyik kultúrából a másikba, hogyha ő, az ő ereje, kulturális ereje azt lehetővé teszi. Come to a place like this, and what you dream in your heart is that they're going to see you and go, wow, you're finished, you're, you're perfect, but that's not actually the value. The value is to come and to find something that you can, that you can bring into your musical practice, and it's what I'm going to be dreaming about and working hard on over the next years. So, that's, that's what I've got.